James Altucher is wrong. It pains me to say this because I'm a big fan of the James Altucher uh, podcast. I listen to it routinely. I won't say every day, but I listen to it quite a bit. He's had a number of good hosts. He maintains an apolitical philosophy, too, which I appreciate. But, Josh, you're not apolitical. Yeah, I know I'm not because you can find people on the, the socialist side anywhere you look. Just throw a stick. You're going to hit 20 freaking people on the media and podcast talking socialism and uh, democratic socialism. But at least James Altucher is apolitical. Um, but anyway, he had a guy on, and I haven't listened to the full podcast. I only listened to five minutes of it before I said, I got to do this. <laughs> they said, is a doctor. And he said, James Altucher said, the vast majority of bankruptcies are caused by medical bills. I'm like, oh. It's like, man, once this gets into vernacular, it, it's almost impossible to be defeated. It's, uh, it's like the consensus on climate change. 95%, no, was it? 97% of scientists believe it's just this fake, man. The whole thing's fake. So unfortunately, it's up to people like you and I to say, you got to challenge this stuff, man. You got to. At some point, someone has to say, no, stop. Let's see the evidence. So if you're familiar with old James Altucher, and let's say you're a coffee drinking buddy with him, said, hey, show me the evidence. I'd like to see it. Literally, show me the evidence. Show me the money. Show me the evidence that says the majority of bankruptcies are caused by um, uh, medical bills. Let's see it. And he won't be able to produce it because it's not out there. But yet, because everyone talks about it as if it were true, we all fall for the fallacy. And that's, uh, that's too bad because uh, it does scare a lot of people to doing what James Altucher should know better, which he's trying to tell people to quit their crappy old jobs and go do something that you want to do. But they're not going to if they're worried about going to medical bankruptcy because of medical bills. Because they're saying, whoa. I don't want to go bankrupt because of medical bills. I'm only 52 years old. I'm going to stay at my crap old job for another 13 years until Medicare kicks in. That, look, that, that's the propaganda. You have to assume if it comes to Main Street vernacular, it's propaganda. You have to assume that nowadays. I'm telling you, man, this is what makes the Internet so great. It is a problem, too. Don't get me wrong. Lots of rumors can be spread. Lots of falsities can be spread. But as if the mainstream media wasn't doing that. I mean, you ever heard of Walter Durante from the uh, New York Times spreading all kinds of communist uh, literature while he was reporting from the New York Times? Ever heard of Walter Cronkite? The, uh, the Tet Offensive was a huge victory for our side. And yet they turn around to make it a defeat as if we had our tails between our legs. Freaking nuts, man. Mainstream media is full of liars. We know this. Full of propaganda. We know that. And it's not as bad as just a Tet Offensive or communism. It's just as simple as we have the idea that the 50% of the population goes bankrupt because of health care. It's wrong. So keep that in mind. All right, we'll see you next time.